Hi everybody, welcome to the Creativity Cave. I have a beautiful card for you and I'm super excited to share with you how I made it. It's really simple and fun. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is show you the background because you might be surprised to know that is not printed paper and I made it myself. So I'm trying to peel this back but I realized I adhered it down so I can't. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to bring in some scrap paper here because let's just be honest, I'm never all that clean. And what I need to start with is a piece of cardstock and a black marker. So I have my four by five and a quarter inch piece of cardstock and one black Stampin' Write marker. And what I'm going to do is simply draw lines across here. And before you all get start started telling me how you can't draw straight lines, I don't want to hear it. You can do it. It's not that hard. And the best part is they don't have to be perfect. And the other best part is each time you do it, it's going to look a teensy bit different because unless you can mechanically reproduce these, um, they won't be exactly the same. But this is such a cool look. It's kind of like watercolor, but it's a little easier because it's black marker. Or, I mean, it's marker. And that is all that there is to it. And I'll do a little bit on the very edge. Okay, so cool background, right? All right, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to adhere a piece of the silver vellum. And to do that, I'm going to use some glue dots. And I'm turning the paper over, and I'm going to hide the glue dots behind the hearts. So I will kind of do them as close to the four corners on my card as I can and you will see the nice thing is that the glue dots are hidden because that's the always the trick with vellum okay and I'm gonna just scooch that down a touch so it's not showing it really just depends on how anal you are sometimes I can be kind of anal about stuff and other times not so much so it's just one of those things. It's personal preference. So I'm just kind of rolling this down so it's a little better hidden under that heart. Okay, now these are the same piece or same size pieces. So I'm just going to line them up and then press down and then you can see they are adhered. So very cute. Then I will go ahead and uh, attach this to my black card and of course I can put uh, an insert on the inside of my card that's white so that people can actually write in it. So I'm just going to attach this with some fast fuse. Center it up and oh so pretty. Okay, next I'm going to show you how the, I did the butterfly. And that is, um, I don't know if you can see this, but there's kind of a pattern behind there. And this was my Friday quickie tip from last week. So let me show you how I did this. I'm taking a background stamp. Um, and because my brain has just died on me all of a sudden, I can't think of the name of this. It's something cute and floral and pretty. I'll, of course, have all the links to this on my blog post so that you have something better to go on than cute and floral and pretty. So what I'm going to do is I ink this up in white ink really nice and thoroughly. I'm going to stamp it on a piece of my scrap paper. And here's where you really put your back into it. And oh, stamp nice and hard. Um, can I just tell you a story? Because, you know, I like to digress. So I have this dear, dear friend of mine who is the most beautiful, wonderful, God-fearing, Christian, adorable woman in my life. And she calls background stamps big hard ones. Bone folders are, of course, boners. I hope you are aware of this. And um, then if you, you know, sometimes when you use your background stamp you put the paper on top and then you rub it I often do that with like a clear block I use as my rubber so um, these are all from my very conservative dear friend <laughs> stamping terms that are important for every stamper to know okay what I don't know what you guys are talking about get your minds out of the gutter these are official stamping terms Okay, 
So I inked up my one watercolor wings, the big, bold, solid one. And um, <laughs> sorry, couldn't help myself. Uh, and I'm going to stamp that right over the center of my cardstock and nice firm pressing. And then you can see the pattern behind it. Now I'm going to aid that a little with a tissue, which I'm just grabbing over here. And um, I'm just going to wipe a little bit towards the center on each side. And then I think the design sort of pops out uh, even better. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and cut that. So I'll be right back. So I used my big shot to cut this piece out. And this is from the framelit set that coordinates with our watercolor wing stamp set. It has these two pieces in it. And um, then I'm going to go, <clears throat> pardon me, go ahead and stamp the little body or uh, abdomen. Now here's one of those instances where you got to get your butt out. Pardon my hair in the shot. But then you can stamp it pretty well in the center. Okay. And then I'm going to use some of our new awesome pool party. Um, I don't know if this is called something glitter ribbon. And tie a teensy bow. Okay. Uh, it helps if you have nimble fingers, according to my dear friend Deb. But if you don't, do your best to tie a nice little bow. And I just kind of mess with it till I like uh, how it looks. This tie is so easy and I love this ribbon because even though it's glittery and it might appear thick, it's really thin. So it'll lay nice and flat for when you go to mail. And I'm also using, um, I call these my ribbon scissors. They are the big $30 scissors in our catalog. Love them. They cut like a dream, especially on ribbon. That's how you get those nice crisp cuts. Okay, so I've got that, and then I need one more piece, which I also die cut a minute ago using this die, and I did this in vellum so that it would be kind of cool. So I'm just going to go ahead and adhere all of these layers together using glue dots, and I will attach them to my card. The last thing I'm going to do is make the greeting, and for that I have just a scrap piece of white cards, whisper white cardstock that I had left over from trimming out cardstock, you know, to get the layers. And so I'm going to take the saying from and many more. It says you made my day. And I'm going to stamp this. Also a situation of butt sticking out for best results. Okay. And then look at that. Stamped perfectly as though I am a paid professional spokesperson. I kind of am. Um, and I'm going to use my little banner punch to just trim out those ends. And so I'm slipping it in between the layers and lining it up centered. Voila. And then I will just pop this up on my wing right there. And then when you put it all together, this is the glorious card that you get. Isn't that awesome? So all the details will be on my blog. And of course, you can purchase all these things. I'll have links to everything in my supply list at the bottom of my post. And I absolutely thoroughly appreciate your orders. It helps me bring more videos to you that are awesome just like this. Thank you so much and have an awesome day, guys. Bye-bye.